Welcome to AgriAware Farm Walk and Talk 2020. Sustainability is the key topic for this year's Farm Walk and Talk, and improving sustainability on Irish farms is the key topic for the 2021 Leaving Cert Ag Science Syllabus. We'd like to thank UCD Lines for hosting us here today. I would like to welcome you all here to Lines Farm uh, this morning. Unfortunately, because of the precautions around the COVID-19, you cannot be here in person. But we will put all these presentations up on the UCD uh, social media sites and you'll be able to view them from the luxury of your own home. I hope you enjoy these video resources and I look forward to seeing you in the future. I wish you every success in your future prayers. Hello everybody and welcome to the horse yard at UCD's Lions Farm. My name is Dr. Barbara Murphy and I'm the director of the Animal Science Equine Degree Programme at UCD. Here we have the horse yard where we have 10 female horses, 10 mares and fillies that the students use to learn how to handle horses and to practice different techniques. All of these horses are of mixed breed and are very quiet and very good for, horse, for the students to learn from. Out in the horse yard we also have a number of paddocks very suitable for turnout for the horses. We have an outdoor sand arena for exercising and we have a really state-of-the-art horse exerciser so that the people caring for the horses can make sure that they're getting enough exercise on a daily basis and 10 horses can go on the, the horse exerciser at any one time, giving time for us to clean the stables and prepare for the horses to come back in. So as well as the many uh, uses of the horses for helping teach students about handling and behavior and anatomy and physiology, there's also some important research projects that go on outside with the horse yard here at Lyons. One of the most recent projects that went on was all about discovering how much light a horse needs in order to realize that it's springtime and time to come into the breeding season and become reproductively active. Most of you may know that foals are born in the spring and summer months. Well, what you also need to know is horses have an 11 month gestation period, so they're pregnant for 11 months. That means that 11 months before the spring is the time of year that they are also um, becoming reproductively active. So for horses, as the days get longer, that light signal tells their bodies that it's time to come into the breeding season and be bred so that their foals will be born 11 months later. So for the longest time, we know that long days of summer means reproductive activity in our mares. But for many breeders, it's really important to them that their foals are born early in the year. That's because horses have a birthday and the universal birthday for horses is January 1st. Now normally, nature wants foals to be born in June and July when the days are long and the climate is mild and there's lots of grass growing. But in order to meet requirements, for race horses that want to race at two year old, for show jumpers that want to show jump early as three year olds, for different types of performance, we want our horses born early so that they are older when they turn one and two and three. So we figured out, and the industry often uses lights in stables to fool the mare into thinking that it is spring and the days are long before it is actually spring. So in most big horse facilities around the world, around December time, mares are brought into their stables and the lights are left on until 11 o'clock at night. This has a huge cost to the breeder in terms of bringing the horses in, feeding them, putting the lights on, using electricity and bedding them down every day. So we wanted to know, is there a better way to do this? Can we give horses light have them respond and turn on their reproductive system, but not need to have them in stables. So here at Lions Farm, we did the first experiments to see how much light a mare needs to her eyes and whether she actually needs to receive light to one eye or to two eyes. And if most of you know, on a nice sunny spring day, the sky is blue. And that's because natural daylight has a large amount of blue light. 
So we figured that if we used blue light instead of regular white light, it would have a stronger effect on the horse's body. So here we see the result of some of that research. We found that when we put low intensity blue light that comes on each day around the time that the sun sets and stays on until 11 o'clock, we didn't have to bring our horses into stables. We could leave them outside, walking around where they were behaving naturally with their buddies in a field, but they would still be in time for the breeding season and allow breeders to produce early foals. So the significance of having light on a mobile headpiece means that horses can be outside moving around, whether it is in an outdoor arena or in a paddock outside where they're eating grass, but they don't need to be in a stable and they can behave naturally and move and as well as that, save a lot of cost on bedding and labor for their owners. Some of the other projects that we're really interested in here is some of the faculty look at ways to improve nutrition in horses. So as we know, horses naturally eat grass and that is their natural diet to be outdoors in pastures, moving and grazing but it's really important that we know how best to feed them when they're stabled for long periods of time, especially on conditions where it is wet and windy and we'd prefer to keep them inside and off the grass. So the horses here are all eating hay and they have access to good quality hay, most produced locally here in Ireland, to keep them ticking over and enjoying their grazing and their feeding while they're indoors. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your visit today to Lions Farm and the horse yard in particular, where we are making every effort to do experiments and projects that help to improve horse health, welfare, and ultimately the sustainable production of horses in Ireland.